Most of the stuff you find on the web is good and can be useful. But just as in the offline world, you also need to watch out for the occasional bandit. In the offline world, if a stranger offered you some candy, you'd know better than to take it. The same principle applies online. If someone offers you a discount coupon, asks you to take a survey to win a free smartphone, or tells you that you want a trip to Hawaii, you should be suspicious of the content and the intention behind it. Social engineering is a technical term for content that tricks you into revealing personal information, like your login details or credit card number. Social engineering attacks can happen over email, ads, or web pages. Some attacks can be pretty easy to spot. Remember the rich prince who wanted to transfer millions of dollars to your account? But others can be sophisticated and pretty convincing. So let's talk about some steps you can take to avoid online scams. One of the most common ways to trick users is through email. Social engineering emails look like they're from a legitimate source, but they're not. For example, an email may claim to be from a bank and say that your banking account has been compromised and that you must quickly email them your password to avoid having the money stolen. It's important to remember, never send personal information over email unless you're absolutely sure who you're sending it to. Attackers will use every trick in the book to make you believe that the address in an email is legitimate, faking the from address to make it look like it's from someone you know. So don't use the reply address in the message unless you are sure who the sender is and don't click on links in the email. Instead, open a new window and type in the official website of the bank or company in question and find the contact address. Social engineering can also happen when you visit a web page. Scammers will generate a sense of urgency and create websites that look similar to sites that you already use. That's why, when visiting a web page, pay close attention to the page's URL because attackers will often make this URL look similar to that of a genuine site. Before you enter any personal information on a web page, check the URL to make sure it starts with HTTPS and is preceded by a locked padlock icon. Other types of scams can trick you into downloading malware or unwanted software that may harm your device or steal your personal information. A website or an ad cannot detect if your machine is compromised. If you see a message while browsing saying that your computer is infected and asking you to download software, you should be suspicious. Remember to always download software from reputable sources. Now you know what social engineering is, as well as steps you can take to avoid online scams. And remember, if something looks too good to be true, it probably isn't.